Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The Shepard spoke well to the admirals. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Rahn got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral! My father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tally. But if Sharla hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked to me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? When you didn't recognize Tally as Admiral Zen, she's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. 
Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active death to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrons or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip, and I will not flee because of petty insults. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of ghetto. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building, or repairing more of themselves, from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kila Salai.
this. thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this. father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. 
You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more Geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new Geth with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I... I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. It's only been a few hours. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance... You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. Han Garrel wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Ali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora Vas Normandy. Kill us alive.
I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Tally Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This might be useful. Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Why? Uh, Murtok, a guy. Used me like the rest. For sex, for biotics. It was fun, and he ruined everything. We tagged a weapons frigate with a Batarian escort and got separated. He had a choice. Leave with the guns, or come back for me. Idiot dumped the score and waded into the squints. I made the shuttle, but no way he was getting out. I fly for a day or so, and then the shuttle kicks out this recording. He set it to play if he hadn't checked in. He figured that would mean he was dead. Talked about the future we were supposed to have. How he had planned to set us up a home. How he... How he loved me and he was sorry it wasn't going to happen. You don't seem to feel guilty. No. He did it to himself. You feel, you get sloppy. It's that damn simple. He found out, and you'll find out. I had no idea you planned to die in there. So what? You ever see me flinch? Or run? Death is easy. Fucking on-off switch. But this, it just burrows in. Like those husks, you end up with nothing inside. I'm supposed to take that and say, thanks, dead guy. I should have listened to you early on. This will just complicate things. No kidding. Told you we wouldn't work. Guess you'll be spending more time upstairs. We'll just have to figure it out. But you just said... I want to help you. It's what I do for people I care about. Okay, what the fuck, Shepard? I want to be with you. It's just gonna hurt. Or you'll mess around. Or I'll end up killing you or something. That's, so. Uh... And... That sucks. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. <sighs> I... I need some time to think, alright? Really, just leave me alone. Damn it. Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The Commander's taken out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything's going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. 
Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Hey, Shepard. You're a brave man spending so much time with Jack. I'm afraid to even go near that part of the ship. I guess there's someone out there for everyone. Even her. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hull. something. Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation, her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers. Murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Pain, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. <laughs> 